for stopping by here at Comic Grandma. Today we have a special video and it's going to be a special entry for the contest that Emma is running over there at 8 Final Low. If you're not familiar with her channel, go ahead and check her out. I'll put her link right below in the description. Um, Emma is uh, just an amazing person. Um, she's getting a bigger collection um, as we speak and um, she's running a contest for having she's probably now at 600 subs uh, so congratulations Emma she's also um, in a teacher's program to be a teacher and um, just want to say to Emma that um, we need more people like you who um, who can transform our educational system and I have a little book here and I uh, just want to dedicate a little quote here from Francis, May 4th. It says, teaching is a process of becoming that continues throughout life, never completely achieved, never completely denied. This is the challenge and the fun of being a teacher. There is no ultimate end to the process. And I um, just want to wish you the best on on your career and um let's get on with the questions so emma asked um very important questions and the theme of the contest is playing in the band um she wanted us to show one album with uh great guitar work one album with great bass work um an album with great um drum work and um an album with great vocals and um the fifth question is you can pick an instrument um, for the fifth one to show the album for the fifth one. Um, I'm going to do a little bit different since um, a lot of the great album, great musicians um, have been chosen. I've been um, checking out some videos and they've chosen some really great musicians. So I'm going to be doing a little bit something different. I'm going to be um, focusing on gospel musicians which is a genre that it's not really talked about in the BC. So I'm gonna start off with the first one, and this is going to be David Crowder. This is an example of a great album by him and his band. That was a David Crowder band. Now he's doing his solo um, thing right now. Um, David Crowder is one of the greatest guitarists out there um, he plays a lot more piano now on, on his um, on his albums, but he's probably one of the most innovative and creative guitarists um, I have listened to in the past decade um, that is still playing. So that would be my number one choice. And just to kind of give you an example of not the greatest guitar work, but an example of his performance. I'll put in a little snippet if I can here. Burning through the things that need to be erased to liberate my soul. Get ready. There's an empty tomb. Get ready. There's a ghost in the room. Next um, instrument I'm going to choose is the bass, and uh, for that particular um, musician, I'm going to choose this band. Um, it's interesting because this band, when they started out, actually they didn't have a bass player, and then when they 
actually got a bass uh, player in their band, they were amazed at the big difference that a bass player makes to the band. And that's very important because I also played at some um, bands, sometimes at church, when there is no bass player. And you can totally, definitely feel the difference when there is no bass player um, playing with you in the band. And I'm going to choose Ian Anderson from the band Third Day. And this is a beautiful album from the 90s, I believe. Um, I believe this came out in 98. Um, the album's called Offerings. And um, I'll, if I can, maybe I'll try to put a little snippet of the bass player here. The next musician that I have is a great drummer, probably one of the best drummers I've heard in, in a very long time, um, and that is from the band Marcos Barrientos. It's actually a Hispanic um, worship band, and the drummer is Keith Banks. Um, I believe he's African American. Um, great, great, talented drummer. Um, he can play any type of style, Latin, um, rock, worship, gospel, even jazz. I mean, it's so hard to be a great jazz drummer. Uh, and Kid Banks has it all. I'm going to put a little sample here of um, what he sounds like in a, in a concert. So, chose actually a female musician um, and she is very very talented um, in the worship um, movement she has been very powerful in the last um, probably decade um, she was with the church and just currently um, I believe she is kind of starting something new um, but her music and her um, the stuff that she's written has been um, amazing. Even her performances have been wow. Um, got the privilege to saw her one time live, and she was she was great. Um, I'm talking about um, Stephanie Gretzinger. Unfortunately, I'm not able to show any of her albums. Her album um, that she re the last album she released, the Blackout, I believe the name is. The album has been sold out. And uh, I believe when I've seen it um, online, it doesn't go down more than $50. And that's pretty pricey for me for um, just one record. But um, whenever I see it go down, I'm definitely gonna jump on it. Um, she is on this record. I've shown this record before. Um, she was in the band from Bethel Music. Um, and she wrote um, one of the songs on this album called Extravagant. And she, let me see if she, there's a picture of her here. It's kind of like the inside. I'm not sure if there's a picture of her here of her performing. Um, but I'll definitely, definitely be, um, there she is right here. Um, it's kind of like her, the back. I can't really see her face. But I'll definitely be putting a performance of her here for you guys to enjoy. And you can definitely see her voice. It's a um, very unique voice, very powerful. Um, so hopefully, um, you guys can check that out here.
choose an instrument of our choice, you can double up either you know choosing another guitarist, choosing another bass player, choosing another drummer. Um, I'm gonna go a little bit outside of what probably a lot of a lot of people have chosen. Um, one of my favorite instruments is the violin. So for this, I'm gonna choose Zach Perlman, who is one of my favorite um, violinists. Um, I've shown this record before. Um, great, uh, great album. But um, anything with it's like Berman, I'll definitely pick up. So I'll be putting here a little uh, snippet of maybe one of his performances. Here you go. You know, violinists love to play chamber music, but we don't often get to improvise. So this is a wonderful chance for me to play a little chamber jazz. I'm here with the modern jazz quartet, John Lewis on piano, Milt Jackson on vibraharp, Percy Heath on bass, and on drums, Connie Kay. You know, we've played together before, and the modern jazz quartet graciously agreed to give me another chance. <laughs> so, uh, Thank you, and can we do something that I know? Uh, let's say, can we do a little Gershwin? Let's do a little Gershwin. snippets and uh, my choices and hopefully you were exposed to some new music and some new musicians out there. Um, Emma I wanted to thank you for holding this contest. Congratulations and I wish you blessings um, and just the best for your channel and for your life and your career. Uh, thank you for being a teacher. We definitely need um, people like you out in the teaching field. Um, and I, um, you know, I just kind of look up to you for um, because it's a very dangerous um, profession nowadays where um, I mean just a week ago there was a, there was a shooting at a school that that is maybe 10 minutes away from my home and um, just the same district that I work at so it's, uh, it's a very challenging um, career um, now nowadays and I just uh, want to thank you for making that decision and I want to wish you the best um, thank you for watching this video and um, everybody else watching out there new subscribers um, new viewers just want to thank you all to uh, stopping by and watching this video um, be in peace with yourself be in peace with others and um, blessings God bless you and I'll see you on the next one Firmes y adelante.